welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. So this is from DIY Choose. So thank you to DIY Choose for sending me these items for the review. Um, let's see what I have in here. Okay. So I have... Oh, okay. That one we should do first since it's open. Did I get everything? Okay, so this first item is a, um, they called it a diamond painting, uh, it was like a, you know, the mask box, a box for masks, mask, you know. So, I don't plan to use it for a mask, but it's a box for the mask, so it's a normal toolkit. Um, let me move the stuff out of the way. So these are special shaped. Oh, these are some really pretty colors here. I really like this one. I don't know if you can see it. It's it's like a really big kind of... Ooh, this one's pretty too. So yeah, here is the image. It's these flowers and... Um, can you see it? It's the flowers here. I guess, you know, my ring lights are always reflecting on these things, so I might have to turn them off for unboxings. But yeah, um, it's these flowers and this is supposed to be a box for, you know, your masks. So it does look like it has some flaps here um, and you're supposed to be able to put your masks in here. My plan for this was to put my labels in there because, I mean, I use my labels usually come kind of like this size and I have been putting it in a passport holder but I would have to cut it but I figure if I put my labels in this I don't have to cut it or I was thinking of putting my um cover paper in here so let me see how big this is um let's see it is the opening is about 18 across 18 centimeters across by 10 so yeah there is a lot of cover paper the pre-cut cover paper that's 10 by 15 so you could totally fit the cover paper in here so uh, that's what i was i was thinking of using this either for my labels or for putting cover paper in there um we'll see maybe i should get a second one and use one for labels and one for cover paper but yeah i thought um since my the passport covers are a little small I, and i i wanted i didn't want to have to cut i i use my cover papers i you know the release papers that you put over um a diamond painting so you could do it in sections i do big ones so i don't want to cut them as small as my passport um, holder so i was like oh let me try this diamond painting mask holder and you know I'm ho I'm being optimistic, but I'm hoping the pandemic is relatively over and I'm not going to need a real mask holder. So this is going to be for my diamond painting release paper or my labels. We'll see what I decide to use. So this is um, eight, eight, nine, $8.99 on DIY Chooses site. So yeah, here it is my flowers so stick around to the end i am going to finish this so you'll see how this looks um finished okay so next one which one let's do the small one so so this next item is um another special shape this is like let me roll it here. So it's like this mandala, bunches of ma mandala. I think that's what I called it, mandala bunch. So here's the toolkit. There's actually like three baggies. And so it's a little bit better than a normal toolkit. Um, so yeah, here is uh, the drills. Um, it, they are special shapes. It looks like it's special shapes and rhinestones. So, so yeah, let's see. Um, there are 13 colors in all. Um, I don't know if you could see it, if it's going to focus. Um, it does look like they just are numbered 1 to 13. And 
And I think this is just the rhinestone code. So I, I, I have a conversion chart for rhinestones to DMCs. So I'm, I'm hoping these are the, the right, the same code for my rhinestone conversion chart. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let me straighten this out a little bit. But yeah, isn't it pretty? This, I was, <laughs> this actually looks like it might take a while since there's just so me so much going on. Like, I've been kind of not buying partials because the first couple partial special shapes I bought were too easy. But now I know, like, if you want your partial to go long, like as in you spend a long time, try to find something that has a lot of coverage. And it actually, I think, sometimes takes longer than doing a regular diamond painting because you can't multi-place because they're usually like, they're not in straight rows. So <laughs> you end up actually taking longer sometimes, I think. So this is supposed to be a 30 by 30, but this is 25 by 25. So yeah, here is my mandala bunch, my bunches of mandala. So yeah. There's that one. Oh, and this is four dollars and ninety nine cents. So it's four nine nine. Okay, let me move that to the side. So the next one. Okay, I apparently got two big ones. Let's this. One, let's do this one. Okay, let's see. Is it open? Okay, there's a piece of tape here. Okay. Don't wanna. Okay, so this one is supposed to be 45 by 45. Um, it's a, supposed to be a square diamond painting, so normal toolkit here. And yep, they are squares. Um, just making sure. So I have the listing open, so. Because I. I want to tell you guys how much things are because I like, I care about that stuff for whatever reason. So yeah, here is, it's, it's very folded, but, um, if you don't, um, do this right away, you, you could just pile it under all your other diamond paintings and then it'll flatten out. Um, that's what I usually do. Or, um, if you iron this, but you know iron it like quickly don't like leave the iron because you might melt depending on what the canvas is made of i would be afraid of melting the canvas <laughs> but normally i just pile this under all of my other diamond paintings and it'll flatten out so so yeah it's these leaves do you have the whole thing on camera do i have to move you up how much more do i move you up okay so it's these leaves here and I forgot like how small square, like after you look at a round diamond painting, how small squares um, are, like the grid is. So there is, do you see it? There is 26 colors in this. Yeah, there's only one legend. I was like, maybe I could show you the other legend. Um, there's 26 colors. Um, there are DMCs and they're a mixture of symbols and letters. So let's look at the drill field. I don't know what, let me turn off, I have my ring lights, like, I think they add a lot of light, but they also glare on the plastic, so it might not be a good thing. Um, so yeah, can you see the symbols? There are, some of them are a little on the dark side, um, so, but I think they're readable. Um, or, you know, you don't see the thing is with with all the colors in diamond paintings, you don't have to like be able to like visibly read it like as long as there's no other color or symbol of a similar like color, then it's obvious what it is without, you know, like, I mean, can you see, is it going to focus? Like, do you see some of the like the plus sign there if it will focus like this plus sign it's a dark color um with a plus sign but there's no other like 
color that you could mistake it for. So even if it's not the clearest, you could deduce what is the right color. So yeah. So here is this one. Did I measure it? I don't even remember. So this is supposed to be a 45 by 45, but I'm guessing it's a 40 by 40. Um, so it's 39 and a half by 39 and a half. So yeah, it's a good size. It's, it's actually really pretty. I think, man, you know, every time I uh, um, unbox things, I always want to do them right away. And I'm like, but, but yeah, this looks really good. So yeah, I think this will look really good. So yeah, here's the, this time painting. I have another one. So I was able to choose several items from DIY Choose. So thank you, DIY Choose. So this next item is I'm just trying to pull up the listing so that I know what I'm talking about. So this is going to be one of those long but um, narrow diamond paintings. Ooh, look it. There's a lot of drills in this one. So they are in baggies, which I know a lot of people like. Ooh, look at the colors. Like, I, like, they put them in the baggies so nicely that it's like, I don't know how they do it because whenever I try to put them back, they just don't look as that pretty. Um, but yeah, they're in baggies. Ooh, there's a big amount of wax in this. There's two trays and two pens. So I kind of like that they only put it in one bag. So, you know, sometimes they kind of over, go overboard. So you want to know what it is? So let's see. I kind of like the canvas material on this one. It's 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 a little softer, so I think it will lay flat faster. So yeah, here it is. It's it's all on camera. Yeah. So yes, it's very obvious what this is. It's um, Dory and Marlin. Marlin, that's his name, right? Marlin um, from one of the findings something movies. I don't know where. Probably Finding Nemo. I think these two spent a lot of time together. Um, but yeah, no, I saw this and I was like, I don't normally do the Disney pictures, but I really love animal pictures and I really love the colors of this. Isn't it really, really like pretty? Like, I think it looks, they look really clear on this. So I'm happy with how this looks. Um, so yeah, it's all on camera, isn't it pretty? Okay, so, so yeah, this has, if it'll focus, there's 24 colors. All of the symbols are letters, which I love. That's my favorite kind of table. And there is DMC numbers. So I love that too, because you know I like to keep all my stuff, all my drills, my leftover drills. So yeah, no, this one looks really, really awesome. Um, if I had this diamond painting for Christopher Colossus, like, um, well, um, sea creature fun thing. I would have done this one, but I don't have it. Um, but yeah, no, this looks really, really great. Man, now I want to do this one too. Oh, I want to do everything. So these are round drills. Um, yeah, look at all those blues. This, this one looks really awesome. I'm not going to take them out because, but yeah, so there is the last item and this one is $14.99, um, in dollars. I don't know if I said how much the leaves are, but they were ten ninety nine in dollars. So, oh yeah, I didn't measure this. So this is says it's a forty by eighty, um, but I'm guessing it's a seventy five across. Okay, it's seventy four and a half by thirty five. So it's a it's a substantial size. It's not even gonna fit in my big art portfolio. So, but yeah, no, this is really pretty. I really like this one, um, but. But yeah, so here is the final image. Here is the leaf image here. And here's the mandala, bunches of mandala. And did I? Oh yeah, I was like, what was my last item? It's this mask um, holder. And stick around, I will finish this and put it at the end.
So here it is done. Um, am I on camera? Here's my um, mask, flower mask box um, done. It, I think it looks great. Um, yeah, and I haven't put the stuff in there yet because I am planning to seal this off camera. It is um, sticky outside of the sections that were diamond painting, diamond painted. So um, what did I say about this? So there were 10 colors in this. There were five rhinestones and five special shapes. My main critique was there was a part over here, like I think these four drills here were not sticky. So it seems like when they must have put the the glue on, it didn't go all the way to these four drills. But I just used this Aileen's Tacket over and over to um, make it sticky. So if you've never used this, you just kind of put a little bit, um, smooth it down, let it dry. And then once it's dry, it becomes very similar to the um, to the poured glue adhesive. So yeah, I think here is the item done. Um, just wanted to show you this. All right. So thank you to DIY Choose for allowing me to show you these products. And thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.